I enjoy Pokemon. I've enjoyed Pokemon since Red, Blue, and Yellow. I've also enjoyed the TV show when I, when I saw it early on. I haven't seen it since for a long time. I, I, my brother collected the cards. I've played several video games. Not all of them, but several, including offshoots like the trading card video game, or Pokemon Pinball, or Pokemon Conquest. I've mainly played Gen 1 and 2, and I have played Pokemon White, which is Gen 5, and I have played Gen 3 off and on, not a lot, but I have played Gen 3, and I want to talk about how my, the region that I am developing today, but I want to get comfy for that, so in order to do that, let's get dressed. Okay, my pal's almost fully charged, just need the cane. Should be able to do that with just this hand. See you after the intro. Welcome, heroes and villains, to Virginia Enterprises YouTube channel. Take a moment, relax, stop your bickering, and just enjoy the show. There are things I enjoy about the Pokemon franchise, and there are things I do not. There are things I enjoy about other RPGs and things I don't, which has come to giving me lots of thoughts about what I would do if I wrote Pokemon fanfiction and or made a video game. More likely fanfiction, because I don't know a thing about coding video games, and this would be vastly different than most other video games. The first thing that would make my game different than the mainstream video game is you wouldn't start as a 10-year-old. I would want to start the game as you being an 18 year old and deciding you going off on your career as a Pokemon trainer. Now a 10 year old boy getting kicked out of the house because his mom can't afford the mom and dad couldn't afford to feed him. Another thing is that you would be able to pick not only your gender is male, female, or other, you would also be able to pick your rival and your best friend's gender as well. It would be more customizable that way, and that's a good thing. So, the game would start with you and the other two, you and your best friend, walking up on the road. There would be the road, and there would be off-road. Off-road would be your typical Pokemon. It would be all your tall... Anywhere off-road, you could have a random battle. It would be random, and you wouldn't be able to see it, because I don't really like that mechanic. There'd be some overworld Pokemon, but most Pokemon you would fight off-road, but as long as you're on a road, you wouldn't fight any Pokemon battles. There'd still be trainer battles on the road, just not wild Pokemon battles on the road. So you'd be walking on the road to the professor's lab. When you get there, the lab would be being ransacked by men and women in three-piece suits. By men and women in five piece suits, much like the Mafia. You still want a Pokemon, but these people are blocking the way and you don't know what's happening. So, your best friend would convince you to sneak around and find a different way in because you deserve your first Pokemon. You just got your Pokemon license and you deserve your first Pokemon. So, as you're wandering, sneaking around, trying to find your way in, you would bump into your the person that would be your rival for this game. And he would be about to break in through a window and you would help him get in through the window. You would meet a you would learn that these people are here stealing all the Pokemon because it's a Pokemon laboratory and research facility. They have tons of Pokemon there. And these people are there stealing them. So, so you would break in and you would come across a long scientist slash assistant, and this assistant would give you your first Pokemon. Be Pokemon. There would be unique Pokemon from a different region that this assistant managed to get away from the people attacking the main antagonists of the game, the villains of the game, the people that are attacking. They don't have a team name; they're just the bad guys. So you would have a flying 
Puffin, Fighting Raccoon, Rock Moose. Those would be your options for your starters. And if I can get the editing right, you will have pictures of them. You would have a few battles with the goons to learn how the game mechanics work if this is your first time playing a Pokemon game. Because every Pokemon game is someone's first, so that would need to be done. The region would have 10 or 12 possible badges. You only need 8 to face the 4. And depending on which game you get, is which badges are open to you. I think it would be 12. 4, for, four would be the same in both games. 4 would be different in each game. The 4 that you don't have access to in your game would be part of the post game. A gym in one city or town would be, for example, a fire station where the Pokemon are ground and water Pokemon used to fight fire. Another city might have Pokemon, a Pokemon gym that's, uh, would, would, if I was a character in this game, it would be my gym. It would be a funeral home slash graveyard, and the Pokemon would be Ghost and Dark. Each gym would be dual type. The region would be based off Alberta because I know Alberta well, it's where I grew up. I was originally thinking Halifax because I could do something with the lighthouses and poison and all that stuff, but I don't know the. Halifax geography that well. Alberta has tons of lakes, has big lake and cold lake, which you could have your, which you could have your, be unaccessible. You have to go across the lake to get to the gym, not be accessible other ways, so you'd have to use mandatory swimming, surfing part, and you have the Badlands, the mountains, the plains, the foothills, the forest. Alberta has a lot of very terrain that would work well for a Pokemon game, in my opinion. The game would be called... I would like to thank... I didn't come up with this name. I would like to thank Mike for coming up with this na the name of these games. Slate and Granite would be the addition's names. I have more thoughts than just this. But getting those thoughts from in here to here is not that easy. So for now, I will end this here.